Hello everybody, today we will repeat the street food from Turkey, namely their famous doner kebab. A long time ago, the author of this dish emigrated from Turkey to Germany and opened his own establishment there, so Germany is considered the second homeland of the doner kebab. A real doner kebab is made exclusively from beef. It either fits in thin slices into such a huge kebab, or it is turned into minced meat and the kebab is already collected from flat cutlets. The doner kebab must contain grilled vegetables. The smartest Turks thought of stuffing vegetables right between the layers of beef. Thanks to which, along with the roasted meat, golden vegetables are also cut off. Now, doner kebab is also both in pit and in thin lavash, but it is considered the most correct to use Turkish bread Ramadan pide. It is cut lengthwise, and two types of sauce are poured inside, tzatziki and a very hot red sauce similar to ajika. Grilled meat with vegetables, lettuce, french fries, and feta cheese. It turns out a super balanced dish with an incredible taste. Well, let's repeat it all at home. Let's start with the most basic, which is the meat. We have 15 kilograms of beef here, but there's quite a lot of film on the meat. Therefore, with the help of a knife, we clean it off. And then the pure meat is turned into a thin slice. The thinner the piece of meat, the better it's going to be marinated. So we're going to put that into the gastric capacity and continue to cut meat slices. It took two hours to cut all the meat. As a result, we have two gastro containers that are more than half full. For the spices, we need hapsinelli, sweet pepper flakes, ground cumin, and paprika. Add some more salt. And we will need our mix of spices. Then we'll scatter that all over the meat. Marinade for a real doner kebab is made with a base of kefir, so we will follow the traditions to do the same. Mix well with your hands so that each meat slice comes into contact with the marinade. Done. Cover the gastro capacity with lids and send it into the fridge for one day. Now we're going to make the very same Turkish bread. A bag of yeast into a bowl, 240 milliliters of warm water and milk, a teaspoon of sugar, a teaspoon of salt, and mix it with a whisk. This also includes 60 milliliters of oil. We break into a chicken egg and send the only protein into the bowl. and then set aside the yolk because you're gonna need it later. Now you just need to add in 750 grams of flour, put that into the mixer, done. Cover that with a clean wrap and let it rise in a warm place. The dough has already risen, so now let's take it out of the bowl. We're gonna to wanna to knead this with our hands to squeeze out any excess air. And divide the dough into two parts. Stretching it with our hands, we form a round cake. Then we transfer this to a baking sheet. Add a tablespoon of sour cream to the yolk and mix. We dip our fingers into this coating and pressing around the dough, we form a rim. With the back of a knife, we mark the grid and pass our fingers along the painted lines. Now lubricate the egg mixture with the Ramadan pide. Now we're gonna sprinkle on top some black sesame seeds, as well as some white ones. That's it, now we're gonna send these two big tortillas into the oven. 20 minutes and they're ready. For the hot sauce, let's cut two hot peppers. We thread these into a mortar and grind them into a sharp paste. Now 
Now rub in some garlic. A couple of tablespoons of tomato paste. Liquid tomato paste. Ground cumin, turmeric, paprika, and mix it up. Their super hot sauce is ready. Second, we have our tzatziki sauce. It is much more tender and is made on the basis of Greek yogurt. Finally, chop up some dill. Throw that into the yogurt and squeeze out half the juice of a lime. Grate a large clove of garlic on a grater. And throw that in as well. Well, we're gonna grate a fresh cucumber on a grater as well. It'll give our sauce freshness. And we're gonna squeeze out the excess liquid and throw it into the jar. Olive oil, salt, and mix. This sauce is ready. As part of our donor, there are also french fries. So we cut up some potatoes into cubes. Done. We're gonna put those into some cold water for 15 minutes so that the excess starch comes out of them. Then we're gonna put these on paper towels. And we dry each potato slice. That's it, they can be put on to fry. Fry the potatoes for five minutes, and as soon as they start to turn golden, we take them out. The french fries are ready. You also need to prepare vegetables that will later become grilled vegetables. Cut a carrot into long cubes. Done. An onion into four parts. Then take a red bell pepper that you're gonna cut into slices like this. Done. Do the same with the green bell pepper. But this one we're gonna cut into strips. Now our veggies are ready. We'll also need a chicken that we cut into slices. We put a piece of chicken on the film, cover it on top, and beat it with a hammer. Thanks to this, the piece of chicken becomes much thinner. We put our beet chicken onto a plate and repeat this with all the remaining pieces. Our meat has already been thoroughly marinated. So it's time to string it onto a large skewer. We take a slice of beef and put it onto the skewer. A couple more slices. Then there's a layer of chicken in order for the meat to be juicy. And a couple more pieces of meat. And one more layer. And according to this principle, we collect 10 centimeters of the skewer. Now it's time to add the vegetables. We spread out the quarters of the onion. Next comes carrots. And the red bell peppers. Fix the vegetables with a large piece of meat. We continue to alternate the meat with chicken. Another layer of vegetables but this time we'll use green bell peppers. We cover all this with a wide layer of the chicken. And we continue to alternate it with meat. And in this way, we collect the kebab until the beef runs out. And in order to have something to cook this on, my dad will make a special oven.
We install the tray and the kebab stove is ready. Especially for this, we bought a box of unusual coals. We open it. They're in a very long shape and in theory it should burn longer than usual. We take the starter and fill it with coals in an upright position. Now we're gonna ignite them with a the glass burner. Done. We take the hot coals out with tongs and put them on the shelves. It's time to install our kebab in its place. Having the coals on the sides, the meat turns red fairly quickly. Therefore, we simply turn the kebab with our hand. And we add more cold coals to the shelf so that they have time to flare up. While the meat is cooking, we're gonna make a salad. Cut a white cabbage. Throw it into a bowl. Also red cabbage. Into the bowl. Crumble some iceberg lettuce. Into the bowl. And carrots into very thin strips. Now we're gonna pick some fresh mint leaves. Chop it up. And into the salad. All this is salted and is thoroughly kneaded by hand so that the cabbage will let out a juice. We cut a fresh cucumber, as well as a pickle, into the bowl, and mix it up for the last time. Meanwhile, our kebab has already been gilded from all sides, and fat is actively flowing down it, making our meat juicy. It's time to cut off the gilded layer. Now we need the Turkish bread that we cooked. We cut it into three parts. Make an incision along. So that way we get a little pocket for the filling. We break off a piece of feta cheese and put it inside our bread. Done. Next comes the salad. and spread around that fresh tzatziki sauce. Now our french fries. And we immediately put the meat with grilled vegetables into the flatbread. And finally, our super hot sauce. Now you guys, the real Turkish donor kebab is ready. Let's try it. First of all, it's freaking delicious. It is very similar to shawarma, but the taste here is much richer and as meaty as possible, thanks to the beef. For me personally, it's much tastier than shawarma. We cooked donor kebabs for a long time and treated our friends to them. Write in the comments what other street food should I repeat. Put likes under this video and subscribe to the channel. Bye everybody.